herbal parlors or natural beauty clinics, call them what you will. The Green Brigade has arrived in India. And after organic foods and aerobics, it is now time for environmentally friendly and safe cosmetics. The Back to Nature lobby selling youth and dreams in bottle jars is doing active business with the middle classes rooting for natural health products, cosmetic products that beautify without any side effects. Unlike the cover-up philosophy of cosmetic culture, this school believes that beauty glows from inner health. They do give better results and, uh, and with synthetic products the results are good but the aging factor comes in very fast and all of a sudden there is a sudden decline in the beauty or the glow of the person. But whereas in a herbal product the increase is good and it always is maintained. This is confirmed by the throngs of both men and women, faithful followers of the cult of the beautiful, who visit exclusive oases of herbal cosmetics that have now sprung up in the midst of fashionable salons. These devotees of the body beautiful prefer using extracts distilled from quaint rare herbs which have been packaged into high value products ranging from hair vitalizers, anti-aging wonder creams and glamorous looking lip salves to wrinkle smoothing body gels. Herbs are making a strong comeback wave because of the non-toxic properties associated with them. So much of uh, help in Ayurveda and nature for herbs, there's no reason for us to take the help of synthetics. The dangerous side effects of chemicals, like a mine of mercury chloride. Indian beauty products, going back to a 5,000 year tradition, having been tested by the fabled queens of India, have captured almost 50% of the $266 million domestic personal products market in India, dominated by Lakme, Tips and Toes, and multinationals like Hindustan Levers, JL Morrison, and Procter and Gamble. It is not just the Indians who are clamoring for more. Jars and vials of mysterious smelling herbal beauty secrets from India are increasingly to be found in the Middle East and Europe. And the high priestesses of these herbal cults are managing to sell at prestigious stores and fashion capitals like New York and Paris without pumping billions into their promotions. The huge market for these products, spurred by a large number of curious first-time triers from not just the urban elite, has given rise to a flush of small-time companies rushing to make hay. However, the bigger companies, like the $94 million Dabur Group, have set up extensive research and development facilities to meet the stringent international hygiene standards and have exported herbal products worth $7.5 million. cater to this demand, the new cosmetics arenas have also set up schools to train people in herbal beauty therapy based on good health. With so many people getting into the act, the herbal cosmetics culture in India is bound to expand even further in the future. After all, it's only natural.